Right, we're walking into town. We're just at the side of the beach at the moment, which is La Plage de Conserance. Very yeah, brave, Marsh. Very brave. She's oh. holding on. She's holding on worse than he is. <laughs> we're going to head into the ancient arch, the ancient city archway, which leads into the old town. Just docking into La Rochelle, France. Welcome to a new vlog. We've just docked in La Rochelle. Just gonna head to the cafe down here, Cafe Promenade, just to get a little snack because we're a little bit peckish. Well, Mark is, is ravenous. You don't mind. Food's in six. <laughs> um, so we're just gonna get a little snack and then head into La Rochelle. Might have a croissant. Get a uh, uh, transfer. About 25 minute drive to the main part of the where we're going. It is allegedly complimentary. However, we forgot to take a picture of it on the TV screen and the woman at guest services yesterday said it was a fiver. We'll so see we'll when see. we get there. Right. Huh. What's that you mushing in your mouth? Well, you brought me here. I'm not gonna sit and Donut. Look to my <laughs> right, breakfast had. We're off the ship. Breakfast the had? We've had breakfast. That were a very, very light snack. Yeah. Uh, the shuttles are here. The ship's there. Isn't supposed to start till nine, but it's half eight, so. Yeah. And there are people waiting. And, ooh, wait a minute. We're just waiting for uh, Neil and Tracy. They're having a coffee or something. And uh, then we're going to head off into town. Yes. We're on the complimentary shuttle, which is a 25 minute ride away on a little island, like it looks like a man-made island. There's a bridge outside that we're driving on, um, just, well, just to the side of it, which was actually commissioned in 1988. Uh, and it connects basically part of the mainland to the island on the other side. Tell a thousand lies for you. Love you like the ocean, love you in slow motion. Anything it takes to make you stay. But I can't rely. You say you need a time, I think you mean a buyout Cause it's pretty clear you're on your way Right, we're walking into town. We're just at the side of the beach at the moment, which is La Plage de Conserance. De Conserance. De Conserance, <laughs> something like that. Um, which is a lovely beach, lots of people it's running. It's been and things. Quite, um, scraped over to reset yeah. it on a night as well. And then uh, lots of sailing boats over there. Nice little bistro on his left hand side yeah. with lots of nice cute lights. So I want a cafe au lait right now on a croissant. So we have been dropped off near the park, just over there near this beach here. It's probably about a 25 minute walk um, to get across the, main to the area. other side. There's actually a bridge here, so we're gonna see if we can get across there. So uh, we're gonna load old Google Maps and see where we're gonna go. Right, we're just heading under the gate of two mills. And on the other side of this Hello. is, hi, Hello. hi, uh, bonjour. Uh, is the Tower of La Rochelle? Uh, the Lantern Tower of Lantern La Rochelle. Lantern Tower of La Rochelle. Yeah. We would translate all this into French, but the Google Maps is doing it kindly into English for yeah. us. Right, so we're at the tower, which is the Tour de la Lantern. Um, and there's three towers, Tour de la Chêne, maybe, and Tour Saint Nicolas, and they're from the 12th century. The three towers are the remains of the fortifications built out of the 12th century surrounding the town. So we're there, and we're going to be walking, probably see the other two. These are the two famous ones yeah. um, that you tend to see in a lot of sort of vlogs and, and tourist sites. Hopefully, over here is lots of cafes where we can get a cafe au lait. There's actually a restaurant right there that I've got plotted called Le. le, le Something on Touche. The other two towers are actually just there. I've not noticed them. Yeah, but the um, you can't actually get across to the other side. You've got to go through the port. So one of the restaurants that we are going to be stopping at at some point today, hopefully, is called uh, Le Something on Touche, which is like um, they do like cheese and wines and like different sort of um, what's the what's the name of the board? Um, Pink Josh. No, Pink Josh. that's Spain. Caricatures. No, yeah, it's caricature board. What's cash, the cash, cash, Cartutory boards. boards. Right, so everybody else has run ahead. So we're just going to catch them up. Mm. 
can actually go into the towers um, from the 1st of April to the 30th of September and entrance fee is $9.50. Euros. Euros, yes. The third tower. Look at this street. All the cafes. It's very French, isn't it? Yeah, very French. It's still a little bit early, so not much is open at the minute, yeah. but um, I think the restaurant that we're gonna we're going to visit later on is somewhere on this row here. Just making a stop off in this shop. Mark wants to have a look in a souvenir shop. What are you looking for, Mark? So there's lots of gifts here oh, for Fort Boyard, which we just realised must be close. And, and they you... did a Channel 5 TV series on it. It was, a, um, it was originally a French TV series, and then they had a UK version with Dirty Den. Well, Leslie Graham. Was it Leslie Graham? Yeah. Yeah. Hannah's, what is no, it? Viennese, Viennese chocolate, hot chocolate. chocolate. Um, I've got a big coffee. And Nick's got a uh, China biscuit and a hot chocolate. Plain hot chocolate. Very, very strong hot chocolate as well. Right, we've just had a little bit of a hot chocolate and a coffee. We're now going to head across in the... There, um, in that cafe, just yeah. there. Cafe Richard, I think it was called. Uh, yes, it was. So we're going to head now to the other side of the port where there's a little place called Green Line, uh, where I've seen online where you can hire scooters, although there was no way to book online, so whether we're going to get them, who knows. But there are a lot of companies up and down here that are actually driving up with scooters different colours and different types, so hopefully we'll get something somewhere. Right, the bike shop had actually run out of uh, scooters, they just had bikes and stuff left. So we're going to walk into um, Old Town instead, which obviously it's not that far. And um, these guys are just trying out the ice cream seats. Oh my god, you guys eating ice cream? You don't want ice cream already, do you? No, I want a bayonet. Right, on his way into the uh, Old Town, we've just come past Le Grand Rue, I think it's called, which is the big wheel. So we're going to go on this and uh, check out some of the views from up there. It's five euros per person. Will? Very brave, Mark. Very brave. She's holding on. She's holding on worse than it is. <laughs> Whee! What's the matter, Hannah? <laughs> you can tell how far we're going. Look at the beam as no, it, as it no, changes no, no, angle. No, no. Wow. We're almost at the top yet. Shall I rock it? No, don't, 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 don't. don't. <laughs> <gasps> oh my god, look at the views over there. Wow. Can you see the ship? Can you shit the ship? <laughs> Have you shit the ship? <laughs> oh my god, we're not even at the top yet. <laughs> oh my god, look at the old town over there. Oh all, the, um, all the terracotta tiles, it's amazing. We're at the top. Why is it stopped? Oh. So we can get some good views. Oh my god, it's right there. Some good views. Jump into the car. That was fun, lots of uh, nice views from up there. Oh, like I say, only five euros and you went round, well we went round three times. Lots of squealing. Uh, Nick's just looking up some info about the old town, which is where we're heading now. And um, Mark, what? Fright Mark frightened of a pigeon. <laughs> Hence that stupid noise. <laughs> It'll ride the big wheel, but it won't, it won't go near the bird. <laughs> Right, we've just taken another stop on our way to Old Town just to look in this um, little food shop. It's like something in cognac. Vodka, that was a vodka says. one, that one's a cognac one. But what are they? I don't know, they look like little um, cakes. Cakes. Like cakes. Yeah. Salt in brandy. Yeah. Little jars of pate, different flavours. In cognac. Natural flavour. Three euros forty for ten crepes. And you can get a spatula, so you can um, a euro thirty. Yeah, these? spread your chocolate sauce on it. Strawberry something. They remind me of um, like marshmallow cakes. Yeah. Like we call what do we call them? Tea cakes. Yes. Right. So this place is called 
La Trinitaine. It's a biscuitteria, <laughs> which is the first time I've ever heard of the damn thing. Mark and Hannah just there getting their uh, magnet. It's literally straight on the port across from the, 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 the chain tower. Um, and um, it's basically like, it's not like a cafe. They just serve it like in pre-packed things. Like, yeah. A bit like a deli, but yeah. for biscuits. Right, we've done bimbling on the front of the port. We'll come back down here a little bit later on for maybe a spot of lunch. Uh, right now, we're going to head into the ancient arch, the ancient city archway, which leads into the old town. Lots of sort of like unique shops and sort of French cuisine and French. unusual things. Some designer shops in there as well. So we're going to head in there, have a look round, and see what we can see. Oh my God, I want them. Look at those pastries. Look at those meringues. I know somebody will be um, frightened to death of them. Reno chocolate. I'm going to have to get some. Oh, pan of raisins. Oh, look at that massive brioche. Oh my god. I'm going to have to get the um, pan of raisins. Wait till we have a pan little cafe stop, maybe. Well, this is just to film in until we do. Right. So. Oh my god. Just pan look at raisin. that. That's on, That's for you to share, Mark. Oh, oh, that's all neat. Uh, <laughs> oh my God! Look at the butter in that. Let me try it. Oh, oh my God! That Best is as nice as the, um, the patisserie at the side of the hotel in Disneyland Paris. And then for me and Hannah to share, I forgot what it was called. <laughs> Choco bar. Choco bar. Yes. Go on, Hannah. Open wide. Just like you used to with Mark. Right, we're just having a little look around the outside of the town hall. Look at this place. It's actually been devastated by fire and yeah. it's still, there's lots of illustrations on the wall of showing that how it was rebuilt. Yeah, 2013 there was a big fire as you can see there and it absolutely um, wrecked it. it. So they've rebuilt it and um, it's all been restored. one of the famous stops in La Rochelle, which we actually saw on a lot of YouTube videos, so we're gonna check it out. It's actually uh, a World War bunker underground, 300 meter bunker. Um, it's basically an authentic bunker from 300 square meters and discovers the history of La Rochelle from 1939 to 1945, and I've just read that off the board. And it's nine euros each. It's like a cellar. Right, so this is, the, this is the bunker door where we get in, and it actually smells like an old, Smells diesel-y. Yeah. Let's go in. So a lot of the signage and things like that is in French, but the lady upstairs gave us a, a guide in English. So the first thing I've just read is that on arrival in La Rochelle in 1940, the German army rec uh, requisitioned one of the local hotels and then eventually built the bunker um, for protecting the Admiral that was commanding the German Navy at the time. Right, so the walls in here are two metres thick, reinforced concrete, and the bunker compromised two large dormitories for the 62 officers and six individual bedrooms for the use of the two Admirals. There was also a large bar, an office, a technical area and toilets. Bar. Perfect. Right, so we're about to go through a replica of a cross-section of a German U-boat. So La Rochelle actually suffered 350 air raids at the peak of the war. It's very long ceilings. Yeah, but it was well claustrophobic. Yeah. There's the bar. We found it. <laughs> Cup of tea, please. This is what would get me to surviving in a bunker. Cup of tea. A bar. One of the bedrooms. Very dismal. Is it comfy? Well, it's not. It's rock hard, actually. Like, like, a, like a solid bed with just a thin mattress on it. So here's a model of the bunker. So there's the bar where we were. We've just walked down this corridor. There was the emergency exit, and we've just walked in here, so we're, we're in this area. But there's no beds in here, there's no beds. got the last cabinets. And then we're going to go back into the bar now. The bar. Can we call for a drink? A cup of tea. So this is the room that would have had the beds in there. 
it's quite a big room actually one of the big dormitories and then back through here on the left hand side again watch the step there's the other side of the bar which would have been completely open not a very big bar for 66 people is it what's behind the curtain the exit i think right so that whole tour only took us around 20 minutes yep um the guy did say it to allow for an hour. I think that's if you're going to read like every bit of information. Yeah. Um, so I mean, there's like 50 pages in this, yeah. but all the exhibits on the wall that are all in French. Yeah. Um, Very it interesting. It's probably take you just as long just to sort of read them one by one. But we're just having a little mood because obviously we've got to get back to the ship at some point. Yeah. So this is the outside of the museum from the main street. And then just to the left of me is the market, which Hannah and Mark have gone and investigated ahead of us. Right, so if you don't know much French, you can use the Google Translate app. It has a real-time converter by using your camera. Yeah, so, Nick's um, sure. so we've used this quite a lot. I'm just going to show you how it works. So if you start Google Translate, so when it looks like that, click on the little camera icon there, and then point it, and let it just catch up. There we go. So it actually translates it in real time from the photo, and it says when a person... Hold on, it's lost one line. When a person makes you suffer, it's because of that... Uh, that she is in deep pain inside herself and her suffering, blah, 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 blah. I and agree. as you can see, it's all there in, in French. French. Oh. And it works with every language, most languages in the entire world. And here's at Mark and Hannah. Let me translate. Oh my God, I'm in cheese lovers heaven. So we've come into the food market. This is so terribly frustrating knowing that there's all this delicious food. Look at this, it's like a it's like a, a pesto dip type things and then you've got your feta ratatouille oh ratatouille all your different sort of diced vegetables look at this one this is turmoil it's turmoil because because we're on a cruise ship we can't take any of it back with us we don't need to we can get pickles and things like that so many salads and mark tells me that there's a lasagna over here that's like six inch thick oh my god ready cooked new potatoes uh, are they lasagnas? Yeah. Oh my god, look at the yeah. lasagna at the back. Oh. oh my god. Quiches. What is it? Oh my god, a crop monsieur. I wonder if they'll warm it up if you ask for them. So the market is actually open 6.30, sorry, no, 6 o'clock to 1.30 every day. And it literally covers everything. Ready-cooked meals, meats, cheeses, wines, fish, crisps, oysters, buns, cakes, everything you want. And I'm absolutely starving now. Right, we'll just sat down at a place called Amor so we can get a drink. Nick's just going to translate this mocktail for me. What is it? So it says, hold on, orange juice. Pineapple juice, tropical juice, and or get syrup. I knew really, I guess I can beat French. What? I knew really. I just wanted to see if you knew. Well, you're learning French. Yeah. Right. For the vlog, Mark's gonna try an olive. Oh, Ooh, they are nice. Very salty. Very nice. Go on, Mark. Salty. When you're in Spain, when you're in France, do what the French do. Exactly. Mmm. They're not like you usually. Fine. Fine. Thank you. You you enjoy it. They're not like your usual <laughs> red olives. They're right. They're quite. Quite salty, yeah. They're not like the usual perfume flavours. Mm. Mm. Well, yeah, absolutely beautiful. Every colour and flavour. Actually, that's okay. They're really beautiful. nice, actually. Right, so believe it or not, this is not a martini. Even though it's in a martini glass, this is a peach gin cocktail. Which I've actually forgotten what it's got in it because she took the menus away. But it's definitely got peach and... Uh, lemon. Lots of lemon. Very lemony. In fact. Right, you got Matt. Uh, some rum thing, but strong. Strong. Look at them flowers. Got it. Right, so that's where we just had a drink called Amor. And there's loads of different uh, little cafes here. 
Everything's yeah, it's outdoor green. heat. Everything's outdoor eating. Yeah, so we're going to head back to the front now, where Nick has found somewhere to have lots of cheese. Yep. I have forgotten the name, but I'll tell you when we get there. Right, we're heading back to the front, passing all these little French cafes. They all smell very nice. It's a lot busier here now than it was when we first came this morning. It's a Sunday, so uh, it's going to be extra busy. Right, on our way walking to the restaurant, which is actually just down there, uh, Mark and Hannah got some sunglasses earlier, so Lee's going to come in and have a look, see if he can get a pair. That's not sunglasses. No, I'm just looking. Right, I'm going to get in before him because I might see something that I might like and then he can't moan. Right, we found somewhere on the harbour front. We just had to use Google Translate um, with the camera that we showed you earlier this because the work. entire menu was in French. It's not an advert for Google Translate, we just really no. like to use it. If we, had, we were just saying, if we didn't have Google for Translate, we would have had no idea what we were ordering, apart from basic high school French, yeah. like fromage and pan for, for bread and things like that. So we're waiting on a cash charcuterie board. Is that or, French? Yeah, filled with cheeses and some nachos, and I've got a gin fizz, and Nick's got a beer. Beer. And I'm Hannah's getting the mixed charcuterie yeah, with board. with and cheese, and I'm just going to show you the view that I'm looking at that uh, is behind Nick. So that, there we go. We're just right in the harbour. There's the uh, big wheel that we went on. And there's the red, what's the lighthouse called? Uh, the red lighthouse on Roche, da, uh, La Rochelle. Yeah. And there's the three towers. One, two, three. Or should I say, un, de trois. You like that, Mark? Cheers. Ooh. I'm going to be battered on this. Lost me lemon. <laughs> you had a lemon. Tell us about this beer, Nick. It's bloody strong. It's like leffy, but stronger. It's I can tell from the darkness that it's quite... Alcoholic. When you drink it though, it's nice, but then you get this aftertaste where you're like, wow, that is really bitter cool. Bitter and like, very alcoholic. Mine's a gin fizz. Our oh, char... I'm never going to get this right. Charcuterie boards have arrived. Hannah's got the mixed one, I've got the cheese one. There's a little pot of bread, which Mark's already eyeing up. He's got the uh, nacho without guacamole, and Lee's just got the full ensemble. Beautiful. And the sun is lovely and warm now. Yeah, it's gone in, but I can still feel it. Right, that was a nice little lunch stop. That was one of there. my bucket list items. Cheese, the other one, a little cheese board. The, um, the cheese and breads and just kind of throwing myself into the culture. Yeah. The other one was a scooter. That was a fail. So we're gonna uh, just have a nice gentle mooch back past the beach, back to the uh, shuttle pickup location yep. and uh, head back to the ship. There you go. If you want to go and check out Fort Boyard, it's a two hour, 30 uh, minute excursion and it's um, 19 euros and 50 each per adult. This is the queue for the coach back to the ship. Quite long. Nice little touch when you get back. Some uh, freezing cold ice water. On the way out, they tried to charge us for some, so uh, we're not going to bother. Right, we're back at the ship. We've been chilling for an hour, doing a bit of editing. Now we are headed back out. I'm going to go to the top deck. Mark and heading, Hannah's... Heading. Whatever. Mark and, Mark and Hannah are on the top deck, uh, having a little drinky poo. So I might have a little cocktail. I've had one so far. Oh, I might have a pina colada, something fruity, freshing and... Whatever. I'm going to show you outside and uh, what's going on at the moment. So we're just heading away from La Rochelle, France. And we dock tomorrow in Spain, in Bilbao. Wow, we got away from Blanc fast. Yeah, we're going quite quick too. So, um, let's go. I'm ready to go. We're looking very smart. Bits all go. over you. Excuse me, you've Bits just got all them off. all over you. Give me a roller. Oh, right, we're having, we've changed the plans. We're not going to go to the main dining room tonight. We're actually going to go to the Windjammer. Um, so Neil and Tracy didn't get our message in time. They're already sat down having dinner. We're going to head in there now. Apparently it's Chinese night tonight and um, we just fancy something a little bit different than sort of a la carte and there's lots more choice in the Windjammer so um, we've never done this on any of the cruises had the buffet in an evening. Right, we've got ourselves an ocean view um, table. Baked potato soup, which is what I was going to have in the main yeah. dining room. So everything that's in the main dining room is actually available here in the Windjammer. I was going to have um, spiced Moroccan tuna steak and it's actually here as well, so I've got that. Um, chicken cut and blur is beautiful. And um, what are you thinking, Mark? You've got a bit of everything. Yeah, yeah. A bit of everything. Bit of everything. Good. Hannah, what you got? What's in this dish? What's in that little dish? Potato gratin. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can see that. What are you doing? 
Film in your week and you No, thank you. <laughs> what have you Film just had? Hannah. Hannah. Film Hannah. What have you just had? Alright. Mango, some or other. Yeah, something or other. Hannah's just got a few little uh, petite desserts. Yeah, I've got a lot. <laughs> I've got a, a coffee with half and half and a chocolate cake with um, vanilla ice cream. And we'll just wait and see what Nick comes back with. What are you doing leaving that? It's clap cold. It was clap cold when I bought it. And so's the coffee as well, so I've left that as well. Coffee's quite nice, I think. What are you doing back for Mark? <laughs> Nothing. Are you sure? You no. Know Mark's going to get out then soon. <laughs> Aren't you, Mark? Know, He's had it for three days. <laughs> and he keeps chopping it in like it's melting water. <laughs> Every day's best. Right, we finished our meal for the evening. That was so nice. Moroccan spiced tuna. That was my favourite thing I had tonight, actually. I could eat more, easily. Well, stop being greedy. So, uh, all this food in the wind jammer for, uh, and teas and coffees. It's and the first time we've done the buffet restaurant in the all cruises because in the past, because of COVID, they've actually been closed. I think I might take a coffee with me, actually. Evening. Me and Hannah's just having a nice little chill on his own. Having an, uh, yeah, I'm having a coffee. Hannah's having a juice. Um, the guys have gone back to the room um, to get a glass of our wine that we've got there. And um, the sun has come out, as you can see. And we've just got these seats here outside the uh, Vintages wine bar. And uh, just enjoying life, aren't we? Yeah, having some time together. Yeah. It's that time again where we sit on a ship and watch a sunset. Hannah and uh, Leah just mesmerised by it. I'm just contemplating the, going to bed. The silhouette of Lee's face there, talking about nannering. Hannah and Mark are also nannering as well. Looks like I'm going out on my own tonight. We were looking for uh, whales out there. There's one! <laughs> <laughs> so um, when we're done here, I'm going to go and get a slice of pizza from, um, as Mark puts it, Sorrento. Is it, what's it called? Solero. 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 Oh yeah, he said Solero. What's it called again? Sorrento. Sorrentos. Oh, I got it right. Yeah, we're up for a Sol Solano. No, no, that's, that's, that's Benidorm. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. We're just waiting for the sun to set. What a day. <laughs> On the way back to the room, it's, I don't know, half ten or something. Nick's just uh, devouring. Half ten? You must be joking. Tis. Nick's devouring a couple of slices of pizzas and two cookies. I've got two cookies to have when I get back. <laughs> I've not, had a, I've not been a gannet and stuffed like eight meals each. Yeah, you have. I haven't, not tonight. You have? I've been very good tonight. I've had salads. Oh, yeah. So, Cheese um, salads. On the next vlog, we will be in Bilbao, um, hopefully eating pinchos and um, having a mooch around the town. And if you set your alarm for 6.30 again, you'll be over the side. <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed today's vlog. Uh, hit the like button, click the notification bell, drop us a comment below. It's been a very nice day. And, and cheese uh, in France was delicious. We'll see you on the next vlog. Bye for now. Bye.